Today we trek through Dolomiti's iconic Tre Cime di Lavaredo. Today's itinerary is a six miles, five hour course walking around Tre Cime in a counterclockwise direction, starting from the Aronzo Refuge at 2,537 yards high. Passing through the Tre Cime toll gate, we drive up the winding mountain road. We can see Aronzo Refuge at 2,537 yards above sea level. In Tre Cime, there formed the front lines of World War I between 1915 and 1917. Newspaper articles and photos from that time are posted in front of the refuge. From Aronzo Refuge, we can turn clockwise or counterclockwise around Tre Cime, keeping it in the center. We start trekking to the south side. There stretches a trail that winds through the foothills of Tre Cime. As we walk along the path of wildflowers, look down and we see Lake Misurina in the distance. Looking back while walking, we can see the cave positions on the rock wall from World War I near Aronzo Refuge. Walking a gentle and comfortable path and looking up at the peaks of Tre Cime, we are inspired in awe of nature. We encounter a small chapel. Tre Cime is a huge rocky mountain consisting of three peaks. Cima Ovest, 3,251 yards, the highest peak Cima Grande, 3,280 yards, and Cima Piccola, 3,124 yards in the east. Germans call him Dre Zinen. We take our way and reach Lavaredo Refuge at 2,563 yards high. There are two ways from the Lavaredo Refuge to the Forcella Lavaredo Pass. The climb just below Tre Cime's easternmost peak, Cima Piccola, 3,123 yards, is short but steep. The lower path takes a detour looking up Cima Piccola in the distance. Either way, we'll find ourselves at Forcella Lavaredo, the eastern watershed of Cima Piccola. Tre Cime has three distinct peaks when viewed from the north. We leave for the Locatelli Refuge. The cave positions at that time can be seen from the cliffs of Monte Paterno, and there are trekkers who choose to walk on the trail that passes in its front. Mm -hmm. 
Looking at the beautiful peaks of Monte Paterno, whose highest peak is 3,001 yards high on the right, we go up the zigzag climb to the Locatelli Refuge. The cave base from World War I remains on the mountain wall behind this refuge, which now serves as a resting place for trekkers. Tre Chime is majestic and beautiful from every angle. We now head towards the northern plateau of Tre Chime. We can go right under the foot of Tre Chime, or walk on a plateau, or go around the hillside along a valley. We can choose from a variety of courses. Looking back, the Locatelli Refuge in the distance and the beautiful scenery around it seem to call us back. The beautiful mountains of Tre Chime Nature Park seem to surround Tre Chime. We have reached Chima Ovest, one of Tre Chime's peaks. The first ascent of the Chima Grande was made in 1869 with the height of 3,280 yards. And 10 years later, in 1879, the Chima Ovest of 3,251 yards tall was first conquered. Chima Piccola of 3,124 yards, the most difficult, was first made in 1881. Taking a break and relieving at the Langaum Hut, we put in mind the highlands and trade Chime we've been through. Sorgenti Fiume Rienza, the source of the Rienza River. We climb the Forcella Col di Mezzo on the western slopes of Tre Cime. To reach Aronzo Refuge, we walk through the eroded Dolomite Slope of Tre Chime. It seems a bit dangerous in the unlikely event of a rockfall. We complete today's trek by walking through the grassland towards Aronzo Refuge. On the way back to Cordina d'Ampezzo, we stop at Lake Miserina. It is said that the amount of water has significantly decreased due to the drought. However, the color of the water is very subtle. We feel a pleasant fatigue in Miserina Lake, where the scenery and the color of the water are beautiful. The landscape of snow on Serapis Mountain catch our eyes in the distance. <laughs>